Good morning. You're watching Leave It To News. My name is Oksana. Thank you for joining us today. What are the possible uh, ways of European governments to tackle, tackle discrepancies in policies towards anti-discrimination, uh, same-sex marriage and adoption? Our reporter Oliver tried to find the answers to these questions as well as the roots of this problem. Oliver? Oh, oh, uh, are we live? Oh, well, thank you very much, Oksana, for that. My name is Oliver Stenbaum. I'm going to be talking about what we can see in the EU today. When we're thinking about this topic, we need to take into consideration the key actors. So the main key actor we have is the EU. Now what needs to be thought about is that the EU can only work in certain areas according to its jurisdiction. It can work in the improvement of human health and it can work for safety concerns of its people. However, what needs to be remembered is that the EU cannot work if this legislation can be more, su more successfully implemented or is in fact already successfully implemented on a local, regional or national level. So what's already in place? Well, we can see that the EU Framework uh, Directive on Equal Employment works and is in place for the protection of LGBT people. However, I ask you, is this really enough? This is Oliver Stenbaum reporting for Stockholm for Libe2 News. Back to the studio. Thank you, Oliver, for giving us insight into the issue. For more information, please visit our website www.lga-europe.org as we'll be bringing you more updates on this issue. Also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you for joining us on Google 2 News. Have a nice day. Bye.